Hi! In this video, you will learn about the Gesture Listener, an important component of Tachi, a module of Doozy UI. Let's go! In order to be able to react when a gesture happens, a microphone-like device that interprets the touch info is needed. This is where the gesture listener comes in play. It gets notified every time a touch happens and triggers any set number of actions. Let's add the gesture listener to our scene. So we right-click in the hierarchy, Doozy, Touchy, Gesture Listener. You do not need to add the touch detector to the scene because it will automatically be added for you. So when we enter play mode, you will see that a touch detector will be added as well. Let's see it. And there it is. A uh, gesture listener can be a local listener, so it can uh, detect gestures that happen on itself or on another object, or a global listener that will react whenever one of the gesture types that it is listening for are performed. So it can be a tap, a long tap, or a swipe in a certain direction. And when it is triggered, it can either trigger a Unity event, so it will fire this, uh, this event, or and or it can send one or more game events. And we will see it in action right now. Let's delete this. And let's create a gesture listener on this master canvas. So I'm gonna select it, right click, doozy, touchy, gesture listener. And a gesture listener with a rec transform has been added to this um, canvas. Because this is not a global listener, it will uh, react to gestures that happen inside its area. So let's uh, change its area and also let's add an image so we can view it. So image, let's make it like this, semi-transparent. And uh, yeah, let's make it easier to see. So yeah, we have it here. I'm just doing this setup so that you can understand exactly how it works. And let's enter play mode. Right now, this gesture listener is set to react to taps, but it will react to taps that happen on it, on its, in its area. And I'm gonna enable debug mode. You can either debug this gesture listener using debug mode, or you can go to tools, doozy, control panel, and in the debug tab, you select gesture listener, and this will debug all the gesture listeners in your project, not only this one. Uh, for this particular example, I'm going to debug just this one. So let's enable debug mode so we can see if it works. Now, this gesture listener listens for taps. If I click here, nothing will happen. Also, the mouse is uh, used as a finger. So I'm going to click here, nothing happens. But if I click inside its area, you'll see that it has been triggered. It detected a tap. And here you have the position and for how long the tap was performed. Okay. If we set this to be a global listener, whenever we tap anywhere on the screen, this gesture listener will get fired. So let's click here. It got fired. Let's click here again and again and again and again and again. If this is not a global listener, only taps that happen on the target game object will get. Uh, Fired. Again, long taps. So I'm going to hold the mouse, nothing. I'm going to hold the mouse here. And there you go, a long tap happened. Swipes. Again, let's uh, say, let's say swipe left. And if I swipe left, nothing happens. If I swipe left here, there you go, this is your swipe. If I do a different swipe, how do I perform a swipe? Well, I click and I move the mouse. Or on your device, you just do a simple swipe gesture. So right, up, down, left, reacted. Let's say swipe down, left, right, up, and now down, it will react. And if I do the same thing here, so swipe down, it will not work. Now, let's uh, say we want to have a global listener that handles our navigation. So I want to swipe left and right to go forward and backwards. In order to do that, we can use game events. And let's say I will create two gesture listeners. Let's remove this. Uh... So let's delete this. And let's create two gesture listeners, one for left and one for right. 
So do Z, I selected the master canvas because I want it here. And I'll say do Z, touchy, gesture, listener. And now I'm gonna say, I'm gonna leave it like that. And I'll say swipe. And if I swipe right, I want to say next. I wanna send the game, the game event next. And let's duplicate this. And this will be our next just so we know what it does. And let's make it a global listener. This will be previous. And again, the swipe will be to the left and we will send the game event previous. And let's debug them so we know that they work. They should be global listeners, both of them. When we swipe left, it will say previous. Swipe left and swipe right. There you go. We know they work. If I swipe up and down, they uh, will not work. All right, so now I'm sending game events. Let's go to our graph controller and let's mess around with this a bit. So if we are here, if we, go pre if, if we want to go back, no, we do not want to allow anything, but if we receive the game event next, and let's say game event next, let's go to number two. It's that easy here. We can add next and previous. So we'll say game event and game event. Let's say previous and here, let's say next. If we swipe left, we go back. Next will be number three. Okay, let's enter play mode. So you can see that this works. And now let's uh, use swipes for our navigation. Let's uh, move this out of the way and check it out. This is the previous. Let's go next. Next. Of course, I do not have a back. Let's uh, continue our design and let's exit. Let's uh, disable debug mode. Okay. Now, for number three, let's uh, also add a game event. So, game event, previous, previous. And if I receive this game event, I go back to number two. And that's it. Let's not continue. So one, two, and three. And now let me show you also how this, uh, this works. Let's enter play mode and you will see how this works. It's really quite easy. You perform the gesture and uh, the action happens. I think I, uh, I should have made it the other way around. So left and right. Yeah, this is a bit better. If I swipe to the left, it will say next. If I swipe right, it will say previous. It will send this game event. And this is where the magic happens. This is the UI navigation flow. Let's go here. And if I swipe like this, nothing will happen. But if I swipe like uh, to the right, you will see that it will follow this connection. Come on. There you go. Previous, next. And uh, there you go. And I'm just using swipes. Let's go full screen. And let's close this because we do not need to see it. And as you can see, it just works. And of course, the buttons. And that's it for the gesture listener. Thank you very much.